So the question I immediately think when I see the title of your film is, is who is in this love story? This is Michael Moore. I am here to make a citizen's arrest of the board of directors of AIG. Well, um, um, I'll tell you who the antagonists are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're the people who love the money. And that ain't you and me. The, the, the richest 1% in this country now have more financial wealth than the bottom 95% combined. So I called it a love story because, well, it's actually with a twist because they not only love their money, these days they love our money too. And they've taken a lot of it. And they've taken a lot of jobs. And now they're taking millions of people's homes um, they're so they're so infatuated with acquiring as much as they can, no matter where it comes from. It's absolutely despicable, as far as I'm concerned. You know that sounds great, but the reason people go to your movies is to see the gotcha moments that made Roger and me so entertaining, and yeah. the gotcha moments that made Bowling for Columbine so Charlton sort of Charlton. icky with Charlton Heston when you really nailed him. Uh, there are few of those in this movie, though, and it seems to me your capacity to do that has diminished as your profile has increased. Right, right. but but what has in, what has not diminished, and actually what has increased considerably is the the everyday average American out there knows that I'm going to stand up for them and so I am fed incredible stories their mm. stories because they know I'm out there and the movie begins with someone who sends me someone I don't know from North Carolina they were evicted from their home they decided to film their own eviction from the inside as the police were storming you know through the door and that just arrived one day in the mail to me they didn't send it to their local news station. They didn't send it, you know, to a network. They sent it to me. Some others have criticized you for saying you're inciting people to violent revolt, and you end the movie by saying uh, capitalism is evil and you cannot <laughs> regulate evil and you have to eliminate it. And, and people are pointing to this as Michael Moore is a socialist, communist, uh, violent... <laughs> Calling for revolution. <laughs> that's right, right that's right. Um, that's because we're so used to the other side actually being full of violence and hate and um, drawing swastikas on Obama and you know things like that. I mean, the other side, where where they approach this, the the sort of desperate state state that people are in right now, is very different from the way I and people on my side of the political fence approach it. Um, I believe we can eliminate things, make things better. Uh, through the democratic process, through nonviolent means. And well, but you, you do do a kind of a storm the barricade speech at the end for people in the theater. Right. I mean, uh, that's that, that you're not necessarily telling them to go and vote. Uh, yeah, well, I, because I think people should realize that there is a simmering anger out there. You can't have a foreclosure filing once every seven and a half seconds in this country and not expect millions of people people who used to be middle class, and that's been taken from them, people who believed in the system. And you see in this film, in, in, for the first time in any of my films, Republicans invite me into their homes for help. I mean, if that's happened, <laughs> that is just, that's the level of, mm. of desperation that people are at, where, where supporters of George W. Bush are calling me up and saying, can you help me? I hope that, I, because I, I gotta tell you, I've seen this film now in theaters with people, and you're right, I mean, they are ready to rise up out of, I mean, I was in Pittsburgh, some guy in the middle of the film during one of these scenes where I'm giving you, you know, I'm showing you something that you've not seen on the nightly news, some guy, a steel worker, rises up out of his seat and just starts shouting at the screen, shame, shame. I mean, it's like, whoa. Um, well, good, good. Turn off the TV, you know, stop watching Dancing with the Stars and get off the bench. Otherwise, we're going to lose what we have. Riding in the streets. Okay. Well, that's not, the take away, Michael. No, 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 I'm not asking the theaters to replace the goobers and twizzlers with pitchforks and torches. I'm just saying that we need, you're right, we need much more than just voting or signing a petition. People have to really, and, you, and I show people, workers who are told you're out of a job, the workers take over the factory. A person uh, is thrown out of their home, they're going, wait a minute, that's been my home for 22 years. You're not throwing me out. They stay in their home. Uh, and I have, I show people a number of ways that they, we can do this differently, uh, worker-owned businesses and things right. like that. So, Michael Moore, thanks so much thanks. for being with us. Thank you so much.